What's happening guys and thanks for tuning in. I'm going to try and help a few people out here. Um, I've had some problems with Far Cry 4. It's a great game but I've had a lot of problems with my mouse. There's a ton of mouse acceleration uh, for me personally as well as uh, me having some uh, stuttering issues with the game as well. But I seem to have found a cure for it. Some of it has been me messing about in my game folder and my game settings and something else is following a guide created by user Crin on Reddit, so props to him. I'm going to show you both, and if you're having any problems, hopefully, it'll help you solve them. First thing you want to do is go into your Far Cry directory, which should be in your My Documents Games Far Cry 4 folder. Then you're going to open up your Gamer Profile. Open it up in WordPad or Notepad++, uh, something like that. There's a few files in here, or a few lines you're going to want to change. Firstly, you're going to want to change uh, Mouse Acceleration. You want to set that to zero which is right here, uh, just search mouse acceleration, and mouse acceleration on, you're going to want to set that to zero as well. Also, there's a few other commands, use mouse smooth, set that to zero, smoothness to zero, and smoothness iron sight to zero as well. So I'll put all those in the uh, comments, you can just copy and paste them. So those are the ones you're going to want to set to zero first of all. Secondly, if you're having some stuttering problems like I had, there was a few other commands that I changed. I changed disable load MIP 0. Uh, that was on 0, I changed it to 1. And I also changed uh, max buffered frames to 1 as well. That massively improved my performance of my game. Might work for you, might not. Try it out anyway. Secondly, I'm not going to save that. What we want to do is we want to download a program that opens up the data files that for the junior users, which is the engine Far Cry uses. I'm going to put a link in the description, and when you download it, you're going to have this. You're going to have this uh, junior program, and it's going to have this bin folder. You're going to want to go into the bin folder, open up a window, and then go into your Far Cry 4 directory. So let's close this down here and go into your Far Cry 4 directory like this. Open up data win32. And in here, you've got a load of files. Now, what you want to do is you want to grab the patch.dat file, just drag it across to the junior unpack. Just drag it, let go, and what will happen is it'll unpack all the files in this patch. Now, I have already done it, so I don't need to do it again. Give it a few minutes, a console window will come up, just let it do its thing, and what it will create is this folder here. It's called patch unpack. So, you go in here, then go into the unknown folder, misc, and the file that you're looking for is this one here, 488.1e4c, uh, you, you get the picture, I'll put it in the, in the description. You want to open that up, and there's tons of stuff in here, absolutely tons of stuff, but most of it you don't even need to pay that much attention to. There's a few things you want to look for. If you type in control underscore mouse, first of all, and we're going to find a line here. It says, uh, building signal, look, action, update mouse, sensitivity, etc. Now, this is my changed file. What it normally says is something like this. So, it says that. Now, they look pretty similar. They are pretty similar. The difference is it has this line on the end here. And this is what yours will have. It'll have curve equals weapons, aim curves, mouse curve. This is what you need to get rid of. So you just get rid of that line on both of them. So you get rid of this line here. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Get rid of the... Make sure you get rid of the uh, speech marks as well. And that's what you want to leave it as. Okay? So that's what you want to do. There's a second file underneath. So if you type in look... MW, I believe it is, and then there's another one here. You want to do exactly the same with that one as well. So make sure you do that. So you want to do those two, then you save the file. I'm not going to save it, but save it. You then go back to the patch unpack folder again and go into action maps and input action map here. And there's a few things you just want to change. You just want to change mouse acceleration min to zero and mouse curve multiplayer to zero. Now it's important this note. To, uh, it's important at this point to note that changing these values may impact multiplayer because of the checksum and the fact that you're changing a couple of these values. I would probably only recommend you doing this 
if you're mainly playing single player. If you're going to be playing multiplayer all the time, it's probably not a good idea. It's not that you're going to get caught for cheating or stuff, it's just the fact that you won't be able to enter servers because some of your settings won't match. So just bear that in mind. So now you've changed all the settings, you need to get it back into the game because this is just an unpacked folder. Now this is where you go back to your Far Cry 4 uh, folder and this patch unpack, you just drag the folder back across onto the pack file this time. So you drag it onto the pack file and let it do its business. Okay. Now what it'll actually do is it'll create a file called patch underscore unpack and patch uh, dot dat and patch underscore unpack dot fat. So what I did is I created a copy of my originals, which you'll see here. I created a couple of copies of them so that just in case I needed to revert back and then just rename the ones with unpack, just take away the unpack and just name them patch and you're done. And that's all you need to do. And hopefully it'll improve your game because it certainly improved mine uh, no end. Again, don't mess about with it if there's nothing wrong with it. You know, if there's only if you if the mouse feels fine to you, then and then obviously don't mess about with it. But it really did make my game uh, significantly better. So I hope that's useful, guys. As always, I'll catch you on the next one.